Episode 3, Planning and Strategic Management. Mark begins to realize in this episode that Kevin is not as organized as he once thought. Mark start, starts off to Kevin saying, Hello, Kevin, do you have a moment to speak with me about something? Kevin says, Yes, Mark, make it quick. I have a meeting to go to in a few minutes. Mark says, I was putting th things together, all, all the new hire, new hire packets for the new employees, and, well, I noticed that we don't have a company mission statement. I think that having a mission statement shows what our fundamentals are and shows that our employees what kind of vision we have for the future. Kevin says, You're right, Mark. We should come up with more examples of a mission statement, and we should circle back and pick one that best suits the company. Mark then says, Sure thing. Talk to you later, Kevin. Later on, Mark then meets up with Mary and Sarah. So I brought all of you here so we could brainstorm to come up with the company mission statement. Mary says, wait, what? We have to be, be the ones to create the mission statement? Isn't that something Kevin should be doing? He's the owner after all, and it's his vision. Sarah says, Mary, you just don't like to work at all. I, I think... It's great that Kevin trusts us to come up with the company's mission statement. Mark then says, Ladies, let's not get upset over this and start fighting. I see it as an opportunity to showcase our talents. Mary shrugs and says, Yeah, I guess you're right. Ugh, my brain is fried. I'm going to go to lunch. You guys want to come with me? Mark says, Yes, that sounds like a great idea, Mary. Come come on, Sarah, let's go. Sarah says, um, sorry guys, I can't go with you. I already promised James I would go with lunch with him today. Mark then says, oh, I see. Okay, then have fun with James. Mary to Mark. Great, let's go, Mark. We can finish discussing the mission statement during tacos. Mary says, at the restaurant to Mark. Can you believe Sarah already jumping on that new hired James like a cougar in the wild? I mean, he's only 22 years old, not to mention mixing worth with pleasure is a big no-no. Mark says, I guess so. Let's talk about something else, Mary. We really need to get this mission statement completed today. Mark, are you jealous? If so, you shouldn't be. Sarah isn't good for you. You have the potential here at SL Marketing, and she is just going to get in your way. Mark says, Yeah, you're right. I know this. Thanks. Back at the office, Sarah is in the conference room waiting on Mark and Mary to return. Sarah is frustrated. Where are they? Lunch is only one hour, and it's been 90 minutes. Mark says, I'm so sorry to Sarah for keep you, for keeping you waiting. Mary had to stop at the store. Mary says, "Yeah, whoops, sorry, that was my bad. I'm always running late. I had to pick up a few things from the store." Sarah is mad. There's always an excuse with you, Sarah. Mary then says, "Well." I could say there's always a man with you, but I won't. Marx then says, Ladies, ladies, we are here now. Let's get back to work.